In this problem, we have to integrate dz over the square root of z. So the goal here is to write this as z to a power. So maybe a good first step uh, is to realize two things. One, whenever you have a square root like this, square root of z, there's really a one here and there's a two here. And so you can write this as z, and it's this number over this number, so it's one over two, always, every time. Two, we can really separate everything like this. So this is one over z to the one half, using this rule, and we can put the dz here on the right hand side. These are really the same thing as what you have here. The next step is to realize that we want it to be z to a power. So what we can do is we can bring the z upstairs, and when you do that, it makes the exponent negative. So you get negative one half, and now here we have our dz. All right, good stuff. Now we're ready to use the power rule. So the power rule basically says that we just take this number and we add one. So negative one half plus one, that's the same thing as negative one half plus two halves. And then you add the negative one and the two and you get one half. So the power rule says that when we use the rule, we drop the integral sign, we drop the dz, we just write z to the one half, then you also divide by that number, so divide it by one half. And don't forget the plus c. The last step is to maybe clean this up just a little bit. So whenever you divide by one half, you really multiply by the reciprocal of one half. So the reciprocal of one half is two. So this is really two times the square root of z plus our constant c. And that would be the final answer. Notice I wrote this back in the square root form. Uh, is that necessary? Probably not. That's it.